hey guys it's your girl notini and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome 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 please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified whenever there's a new video and for my returning subscribers welcome to another fearlessly authentic production baby all right as you guys might have seen by the title of the video today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i got into nursing at the university of pretoria and i'm gonna give you guys the requirements for applying to do nursing at the University of Pretoria. Give us some, yeah. Yes, so without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay. Oh, and before I continue with this video, <laughs> a lot of people were saying that in my intro video, it looks like I'm reading from somewhere. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not reading from anywhere. I think I'm just focusing on the same point. Okay, so I'm shooting with my laptop now. And I'm looking at myself, basically. And that I'm staring at myself because I'm that hot. Kalala guys <laughs> Kalala but yes I think it's because I'm looking at myself I don't know if I should look at the camera Or look at I don't know I don't know But I'm looking at myself and I'm not reading For those that think I am And it's quite difficult for me to focus On the camera because it's so small Compared to what I see Like looking at myself And basically the video as it films so yeah i'm sorry to those that feel like i'm reading and it, i know it's kind of disturbing when you're looking at someone who's supposed to be just talking because it's your girl notini it's your girl notini <laughs> so yeah i know it can be disturbing i'm sorry just bear with me um i hope it'll get better once i have proper equipment for shooting but okay that's besides the point so i applied for nursing as my first option at the university of pretoria and then second option was education i applied for education because i just wanted something i could like fall back on in case i don't get taken into nursing then i would know that i am already in the university because i loved it so if i'm in i can go into nursing while i'm already in if you get what i mean yes and then why up because i've always loved up and then i also applied at other universities i applied at university of the free state um i applied for bachelor's degree in drama and theater i applied at uct i university of cape town i applied for EO, nutrition science or food science or something like that guys i don't know to be quite honest i don't know what i would be doing if i got into that degree or what i was gonna be doing after getting that degree or where i was going to work like i don't know and then i applied for nursing as well go university of the western cape and my second option there was audiology for those that don't know audiology it's if you're an audiologist you're basically an ear doctor so you specialize in anything that has to do with the ear yeah that's the easiest way i can define it um yes i applied for that I, oh and i applied at uj for chiropractor a chiropractor is basically a person that massages people <laughs> i know right but now when i thought of it i thought of having my own practice and then massaging women that are pregnant and making sure that their bodies like are fine and are well enough to be carrying those babies and that yeah whatever but i that's that's what i imagined when i applied for that particular degree so i i didn't get accepted at university of the western cape unfortunately ha study hard they said universities will fight for you they said Kai. <laughs> hey anyway yeah i didn't get accepted at the university of the western cape i got accepted for that food science um degree food food science management or whatever it was i got accepted 
I got called for an interview Co University of the Free State for that drama degree I had applied for. Also got called for an interview Co UJ for the chiropractor. So yeah, I, I was actually excited about that one. I wanted to go. I remember on the day of the interview, I was actually writing a practical called life science and I wrote, I'd already told my teacher who on this particular day I have an interview so I'm gonna go there and she's like no I understand you guys are going to varsity next year and wow 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 so she was okay and then I went home all excited and stuff after seeing the email having told my teacher and stuff I give it her mama ka are no you are not going there girl but home like she was just not a fan of me being in Johannesburg. I don't know. She's, I I think parents when they think about Johannesburg, they think about Hillbro. They think the whole of Johannesburg is Hillbro. <laughs> so yeah, she didn't want me to go. So I didn't end up going as well there. And then UP decided to accept me for education. Mm. I don't. It's. Like it's towards the exams, the final exams, and I'm only accepted for education. Go nursing, they're not saying anything. Like they they quiet. Just okay, we've ac we've received your application. Fail. Sharp. Time goes by. Time goes by. We write the exams. I'm on the waiting list. We finish exams. I'm on the waiting list. But I'm with you. And then I was like, okay, maybe education is what I'm going to be doing. It's fine. It's okay. I accepted. And I was fine. Because also, there was a lot of work. And I felt like maybe I won't even do as well as I want to in order to get into nursing. So let me just accept that I'm going to be doing teaching. Ed education. I sneeze my toe. I know some people get annoyed when you say Bachelor of Education is teaching. Oh, so I sneeze my toe. Um, so yes, I just, yeah, I was just like, okay, it's fine. I'm going to be doing education. Maybe I, I can major in subjects that are related to what I want to do with life science. So, sharp. Yeah, and then the metric results finally come out. And I find out that I actually did well. And I have the potential of getting into nursing or UP. Yeah, yeah. And then I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. And then, yeah, we're getting closer to the last day for registrations. So I don't have a choice but to register for education because I can't stay at home because I didn't get accepted into the degree that I want to be doing. So I go and I register, come back home. And then I go back, I come back to Pretoria to look for a place to stay. I, I think I came back on the... Mm, the monday yes the monday i come back here on the monday to look for a place i go look for a place and i find a place i apply and do the things that need to be done submit every document that they need and stuff like that and then i was feeling kind of sick that day so i decided to go back home with my mom and i get orientation week so yeah i think it's also because man there was just not enough enthusiasm because ha huh, I ish, I did well. So at that moment, I was like, the, like I want to do something that's going to put me in a hospital one day. So anything that's going to make me go to hospital every day and have one-on-one -on -one interactions with patients. So whether it was physiology, audiology, occupational therapy, anything like that. Unfortunately, I had not applied for things like that. And I didn't get accepted to University of the Western Cape. So it was just unfortunate for me. So yes, I went back home and Wednesday I go to I go shopping with my mom to buy the things I need for coming to varsity. On our way to town, literally in the taxi, I get a call from UP and they're like, Hi, you're talking to Miss Mama Mama and you are accepted into nursing. We will we will was it cancel we will cancel your acceptance into education. Wow 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 guys i i screamed eh? i screamed <laughs> i screamed in the taxi and luckily it was just me and my mom and this other lady so yeah i i got excited and i was happy and i was content and i was fine 
now I was no longer miserable. I was, I was cool. I was sharpie. Yeah, so that's basically how I got into nursing. And the requirements are um, you need a minimum admission point score of 28. You need four level four in English, home language, or a first additional language. You need level four in mathematics and level four in life sciences. Um, you are not required to write a national benchmark test as far as I know because yeah it's not stated on the latest prospectus however you you can do your own research you can call you can email or yeah just find out because i think it got cancelled in that year yeah covid so now because things are slowly going back to normal i don't i'm not sure if it's required or not applications opened on the first of april so yes applications are open now until the 10th if i'm not mistaken the 10th of june yes and even though guys the aps is 28 that is required you need you you can't just get 28 on the dot because firstly they only take 50 students per year in nursing for the university of pretoria so they will obviously take the 50 best candidates so you need to like work really hard. Another thing is that someone will apply for medicine. Ne? They'll apply for medicine and they have good marks. But maybe they're not good enough for medicine. But because medicine has a higher APS than nursing, it means that person already has a higher APS than what is required. And they are likely to get into the course only for them to move to medicine the following year. So it's um shoot for the stars give it your best shot so that you know when they select that 50 you are amongst that 50 and another thing is that i know the up portal can be quite difficult i also had a problem when i was applying so luckily for me there was an institution institute that was helping students apply at whatever university so i had them help me with my application and here i am today unfortunately that particular institute is no longer operating however because i'm your plug today i'm gonna insert a picture somewhere on the screen of another institute that helps students with varsity applications so it also helps you with application into whatever university you want to apply at and they also offer tutoring for any of your subjects in metric so any subject that you might be struggling with you can also ask for a tutor in that regard this is because they're not only going to help you get into university through application they actually help you do better so that you have a higher chance of getting accepted into that particular university so yes they also have an instagram page you guys can follow them i will put the details in the description below and for any other queries that you might have you will contact them the things you will need to apply is your id a certified copy of your id not more than three months um a certified copy of your parents id not more than three months as well and your grade 11 final report okay guys so i couldn't add this picture in the actual video and when i try to minimize it it becomes really small so you can't really see the details however i will add the contact details into the description so if you need any help with your application you will just go to the description below and get the contact details i know a lot of metric like asking this question can i not use my first term report from metric no you cannot because remember you are not you are applying and many other students from different provinces are applying and in first term you don't have an exam you have a test you have a term test and that term test is set by your teacher so they cannot compare the results of that with other students from other provinces so when you have an exam they can compare because then they know they are set provincial they can compare your competence or how good you are whatever so yeah you cannot use your first term report you have to use your grade 11 final even on the on the prospectus it says selection will be based on grade 11 final report so yeah that's that grade 11s do your best because as i've mentioned 
you will be selected according to your grade 11 final metrics um also do your best um in your finals those that have already applied applications open on the 1st of april by the way and they're going to be closing on the 10th of june so all the best to everyone that's going to be applying all the best for those that want to get into nursing and for those that do want to get into nursing if you have any questions regarding nursing please feel free to follow me on instagram and send me a dm or facebook and send me a dm as well or you can just write it down in the comment section and that's basically it for today guys thank you so much for watching until this far if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever there's a new video up on my channel do like the video show some love guys um comment and thank you guys so much for 87 subscribers well that's the last time i checked hopefully when i upload this video it's going to be more than that but either way i love you guys so much and thank you for watching bye